Thanks so much for completing the orientation journey. Um, before you go, we have a few little things that I like to show people that don't really fit into the topics of that, um, of, of that journey. So I just put together a quick video to show you those things. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and do that now. The first thing I wanna show you is this. This is um, a weekly dispatch. Uh, so Design Forward is really imagined as a program that's very emergent and flexible. We want you to not waste your time and to not feel like you're doing busy work, but to focus on those parts of the module that really resonate and connect with you and your pedagogy and your values. That said, we've discovered that people often like a little bit more direction, particularly when they're getting started. So to try and achieve that, um, at the beginning of each week of the module, you will get one of these from us. It's kind of a roundup newsletter that we put up, uh, put together with a little introduction, um, a topic that we focus on, that we suggest focusing on for the week, some suggested resources for the week, questions and activities. Um, you are not bound by any means to this um, content for the week. You can work on whatever, as I said, really makes sense for you. But if you're looking for a little bit more direction, if you're feeling overwhelmed, I encourage you to check out those dispatches. You'll get an email from us early Monday morning with a link to them. The second is the, um, is the homepage for the module, which we encourage you to keep an eye on um, during the course of your participation. The homepage is designed to be a little bit of a viewport into the most current um, activity across the entire module. So we'll have a link to the latest dispatch. We'll have the most recent um, hypothesis annotations from folks, the most recent comments that people have made, as well as the most recent portfolio submissions um, across the module. So if you only have a few minutes or if you really wanna make sure you're making the most of your time and you wanna see what the latest stuff is, this is a great place to go and get started. And then on the website, the only other thing I wanted to take a minute, uh, let me just close this a second, to show you and talk about is the portfolio. Hopefully you understand how this works and what it's for. As a reminder, the portfolio sits above any single DF module. So it travels with you if you do multiple modules, any activity in your portfolio will still be there. You'll notice, for example, the header for the portfolio is the generic design forward header. It isn't the module header. Um, make sure before your module starts that you go to update your profile, make sure it's filled out with whatever information you're comfortable sharing online. Um, please uh, do try and upload an avatar as well. There's a button to do that. It does not have to be a picture of you, just any visual representation. It makes it a little easier to visually track conversations and activity. Um, and finally, in the portfolio, please make sure you share with us whatever hypothesis username you've set up so that we can track annotations too. Um, let me just now um, take a quick minute to show you this. Uh, you should have received a notification about being added to this Teams channel for our module. Um, it's called, Des I should say to your Teams channel, this is specifically for the one for spring 24, um, which was for technology and tools. If I go to the past ones, you'll see there's more activity for those. Since tech and tools at this moment hasn't started yet, it is empty. Every module that we teach in Design Forward, we set up a Teams channel for. Um, it lives within the PSU teaching and learning team that the CoLab administers. You will have been added to that as well. And I encourage you to take a look around. There's lots of great information and activity in this um, team. Um, your channel, however, it's just the participants in your module. And it's really designed to be a space for troubleshooting. So if you run into a problem with the website, with an activity, you have a question and you really don't remember it being covered in orientation, um, you're welcome to send us an email, of course, at the CoLab, but we recommend you maybe check out and post on Teams first. And the reason is that if you're having difficulty, there's a good chance other people are as well. So if we all do that work here um, in, in the channel where we all can see it, then everybody benefits from those responses. That's really it. Um, at this point, you consider yourself, you can consider yourself oriented to design forward. Um, you will find on the page where this video appears a link to the CoLab's appointment page. If you feel like you need more help or you have questions or there was something that we covered in orientation that didn't work for you or you feel like you didn't quite get it, feel free please to make an appointment with us. We have both face-to-face -face and Zoom meeting appointments available. Um, we can meet with you for a quick 15 to 30 minute um, uh, appointment and cover any questions that you have. 
And with that, I will leave you. I really look forward to seeing you in whatever module you'll be participating in.